from uh, Elcom. They're going to be going over the products and uh, hold any questions you have. Actually, for your questions, you can go ahead and enter them into the question box on your screen, and we'll cover those in the presentation. Uh, with that, Neil, you want to take it off? Okay. Good morning, everybody. My name is Neil Young. I'm the one of the technical support specialists here at the uh, wireless division of Elcom, also uh, sales support technical liaison. Today we're just going to give you an overview of uh, Elcom, the company, and some of the products that we, we have, and of course are all available through Microcom. So let's get started here. Um, here we go. Try it again. Okay. Okay. So, um, of course, Hyperlink is a brand of Elcom. We originally started as uh, Hyperlink Wireless. Back in uh, 07, we were purchased by Elcom, and we are now an Elcom company, and Hyperlink is our brand. We have a pretty wide product offering uh, more than uh, 8,800 part uh, SKUs. Quick fulfillment of orders. We have a very quick turnaround time. We have a couple of warehouses down here for all the wireless products, up north for wired. Uh, we have great product reliability. Um, we have a great reputation, been around a long time, and our main commitment is giving uh, really, really good customer service. This is a little overview of our facilities. Uh, we're located in Massachusetts. Uh, Andover, Mass. That's where we have our wire division. We manufacture up there as well. Um, we also have a location in Suzhou, China. Uh, that's our own manufacturing facility where we make cables and other products there. And Boca Raton, Florida. That's where I'm talking to you from. Uh, we have a uh, 27,000 square foot warehouse down here, probably about $8 million worth of uh, Wi-Fi products at all times so we can give a quick fulfillment. Um, we've won multiple awards for customer service, superior technical support. Um, that's on my side here. And um, so we're a pretty global company. Uh, example here of our extensive product portfolio, we have wire connectivity products, wireless products, and industrial networking, uh, wired connectivity, cables, connectors, etc. wireless, of course, antennas, uh, cables, amplifiers, enclosures, and on the industrial side, all kinds of racks, mounts, and um, enclosure products. We have pretty much the end-to-end -end connectivity solution, uh, provider of, of everybody's choice out there, because we cover things from military, security, law enforcement, corporate IT infrastructure for uh, wireless, aerospace, and industrial control and process uh, products. Uh, just an example of some of our wireless applications, uh, enclosures for outside, um, cellular tower type uh, antennas, on the antennas, outdoor radios, connectivity for laptops. Uh, we got a pretty broad wireless product portfolio, as you'll see. We cover um, all the frequency ranges from 400 megahertz up to 6 gig, indoor, outdoor, et cetera, et cetera. Security applications. Um, we have enough products to build uh, surveillance systems, cameras, weatherproof enclosures, Lightning surge protectors, coax, fiber, and category 5E all the way up through 6A cables. Corporate IT infrastructure applications, um, such as, again, racks, your wireless antennas, and cables. Law enforcement applications, uh, magnet mount antennas, cabling, uh, products used for surveillance, amplification, 4.9 gig Wi-Fi, antennas, Ethernet, audio, video, USB, D-sub, cables, connectors, adapters. 
This is just an example of how all our wireless products um, tie right into any of the wired products uh, we have. So we, we, again, we cover the whole gamut, wired all the way through wireless, so someone has to put a complete uh, solution together. On the wired, wireless products uh, category, uh, we carry cable assemblies, connectors, adapters, antennas, filters and splitters, amplifiers, surge protectors, industrial enclosures, power over Ethernet, and radios. Our wireless markets served are GSM and now DAS, Homeland Security, WiMAX, Wi-Fi, RFID, and SCADA. We cover all those frequency ranges with our products. Again, just another example, if you tied all our wireless products together from each category, you could see you could have a complete wireless system from PoE through lighting protection, amplification enclosures, radios, out to the antennas. A wide range of antennas we stock. We have Omni, Dish, Grid, Sector Panel and Arrays, Yagi Antennas, Patch and Panel, Rubber Duck, uh, low to high gain versions in all the frequencies. Uh, we cover 4 megahertz up to 6 gig. Uh, our, our antennas are commercial grade. Uh, we now also have MIMO, spatial diversity, and dual polarity designs for those type of uh, solutions. We also do custom antennas for specialized applications. They go from 700 up to 2700 megahertz, uh, log periodic Yagis, ceiling mount antennas, omnidirectional, sector types, uh, perfect example of someone setting up a broadband uh, passive amplifier to bring some uh, cellular signal into a building. You can go with a Yagi and then down to a ceiling mount inside. Um, or if, if it's another application, you go with sector depending on how you have to catch the signal. We carry a full line of dual band antennas um, for, for in ceiling mounts, uh, panel mounts. We have triple or dual input on some of them. Uh, dual band sector panel antennas for all these newer uh, APs that are out there that are either concurrent dual band or separate uh, dual band by programming. We carry a full line of MIMO dual polarity antennas. Uh, dual input, omnis, patch, 90 degree uh, sector types, spatial diversity, MIMOs for the ceiling mounts. Many of these are also available in a 2458 addition, uh, in addition to the dual polarity. So not only will they do dual polarity, but they'll do dual band through one pair of uh, antenna connectors going into them. Amplifiers. Uh, on the RF amplifiers, uh, we carry bidirectional. We have power ranges from 100 milliwatts up to 25 watts. We cover 900 megahertz, 4.9, 2.4, uh, we also have some 3.5 WiMAX amplification, uh, 5.8. They all feature APC automatic power control, so they keep the power consistent uh, no matter what the input is, as long as it doesn't exceed uh, maximum input level, which is 100 milliwatts on all our amps. We have PoE versions, and we have indoor and outdoor configurations. Outdoor amplifiers will come with uh, DC injectors to feed the power on up the uh, tower to activate the amplifiers. We have a full line of lightning surge protectors uh, in the coax range, 0 to 3 and 0 to 6 gig, uh, gas tubes that are replaceable, quarter wave. Uh, we have indoor uh, and outdoor rack mount, um, data type, lightning protection, we have control line for RS-422, 485, and 232. Uh, we also have audio and video um, search protection. 
uh, USB and AC and DC control line surge protectors. So we could cover just about anything somebody needs to protect. RF signal splitters, filters and PoE injectors. We have signal splitters in the 900 megahertz range, 2.4, 3.5, and 5 gig wideband, two-way and three-way and four-way splitters. We have bandpass filters to clean up adjacent uh, interference on adjacent channels in the 900 megahertz, 2.4, 4.9, and 5 gig, indoor and outdoor versions, four-pole and eight-pole filters. Uh, we carry PoE uh, injectors, mid, mid span DC injectors. Uh, we have all in one units that would just plug right into the wall, but we also have the type of injector that's mid span. So if you have an outlet somewhere down line, you can plug that right in and inject wherever you need to. Uh, we now carry our own brand of uh, APs and CTE clients. Uh, these are commercial grade. They're um, either in 2.4 or 5.8. They're N technology on the 2.4 and N MIMO on the um, 5.8. They're all PoE injected. They operate like that. They have internal antennas built into them. We also have uh, USB uh, adapter type radios either in a 2.4 or we have a 2.4.5.8 slash USB dongle with a, uh, a client radio in there. We also carry other brands of YLAN uh, radios. Uh, we carry Ingenious, Planet, um, USB and Wi-Fi adapters. Any of our antennas are compatible with anybody's aftermarket um, radios other than ours, such as the Ingenious Planet. We can match anything up. We have the supporting hardware and connect, uh, connectivity products to interface with uh, any of these units out there. Enclosures. We probably have more enclosures than any company out there, larger selection than anybody else. We have NEMA, 3R, 4X, uh, UL rated. They're available in fiberglass, steel, ABS, and fiberglass reinforced polycarbonate. Uh, various sizes and depths. We have non-powered. We have 120 and 240 volt enclosures. We have PoE ready enclosures with a PoE interface built into them. 12 volt enclosures, we can give you heating and cooling or venting. Um, we have network interface device enclosures. We have all the uh, entry port adapters, so if you have to put any additional holes in there, you could run a cable right through a, a, a waterproof cable gland. Uh, lockable latches, we could put just a padlock through it. And as I said before, we have the rubber cable glands uh, as an option although each one generally has one in there for your Romex to go through there if you're running um, AC voltage. Uh, we have pole mounts that will fit anywhere from a one and a half to a two inch, or we have a three to a four inch pole mount that will uh, mount to the back of the enclosures and allow you to mount that on the pole. We have custom capabilities. If you have a project that's uh, pretty large, we can come up with a custom product for you if you need a special antenna or a connector or you need a, um, an enclosure made to a certain spec or mod modify one of our enclosures. We could generally do that. We do have some minimum quantities, but we're open to that. We love customs. So uh, we're always interested in, in something like that. So you can trust Elcom to meet all your, your needs. We have a, the broadest offering of, of wired and wireless products. We have quick fulfillment, uh, stocked warehouses, and uh, on standard and custom products. Uh, like I said before, we've got award-winning customer service. And our products have the performance and qu uh, quality and reliability that makes your customers, uh, meet your customers' stringent requirements, and they can be confident when the products are out there, they're going to keep on working. 
So thanks for uh, coming into this webinar today. If there's any questions for you, um, we're ready to answer them. Thank you. Polarity antennas, mm -hmm. do those come with RPSMA or what are the connectors on those? Are they very the, the general connectors on the dual polarities are N females. So uh, on, on any kind of situation like that, if someone has an RPSMA on their radio and they're mounting the radio outside or near there, you know, we have short we have cables in every configuration, RPSMA to N male. Um, if they have a long cable run that they have to run up there then maybe we would put them into a couple of RPSMA to N females on, say, 195 cable, a two-footer. And then you got that long run, so you could run an N male to N male on 400 series cable, you know, out and up to the antenna. Of course, you'll need two per antenna when, you, when you're doing that. Uh, generally, anything over 20 feet, we recommend 400 series cable. Uh, 20 feet or less, generally, you can get away with uh, 195. Okay, and another one came in here on the Elcom branded radios. Do mm -hmm. those also come with the POEs already included? Yes, POE injectors are included with both those radios. Um, the 5.8, besides, uh, in the picture it didn't show it, but that has a pair of um, RPSMAs underneath the back cover. So if you don't want to use the, the dual polarity MIMO that's built into it, it's got a 13 dBi MIMO in that you can cable out into a, an external dual polarity antenna. Okay. And just out of curiosity, is that a software switch or is that a mechanical switch to switch? Uh, software. The when, you, when you log, when you yeah, when you log in uh, to in the interface to set it up, you have your choice on both of them, internal or external antenna, and there's a power slider. So. Uh, depending if you want to stay within um, the laws of the FCC and you don't want to exceed total system power, there's a slider in there. So if you're putting a 10 dB Omni, you're screwing that on to, say, the 2.4 gig radio, uh, you could adjust the slider to adjust your output power. Uh, same thing on the 5.8. Uh, if you turn off the internals and activate the external, you've got all that control right in the software there. Okay. Do we have any other questions that are coming in? Okay. Don't see anything else coming on that one. So, uh, Neil, I'd like to thank you very much. Chuck, thank you for your time also on this one. And for those of you, if you guys have any questions on this presentation, you can contact your Microcom sales rep or you can contact sales at microcomtech.com as well as this presentation was recorded, so we'll be uploading it to our YouTube page. So if you'd like to reference it again, you can have access to it through that. So with that, I'd like to wrap it up. Thank you, guys. Great. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for coming.